Good morning, everybody. Yes, it is 7.45 in the morning, but it is Saturday and I have a whole weekend to craft. And so I have been planning my class schedule for January. And so guess what we're gonna do? You're gonna see what my first class is going to be for January. Well, there's gonna be classes galore because I have hockey schedules in advance and I know that I can now get everything set up. So this uh, awesome, hi Susan, this awesome mini catalog is launching on January the 3rd. So obviously all my classes in the new year are going to be coming up from this one. And good morning, Rika. I love starting off with a kit class. Reason I love starting this way is it gets people going on their stamping, kind of gives them some Christmas shop. It gives them some fun things to start with. And then, you know, you kind of roll from there. So uh, if you missed me opening some of my new products yesterday, this is the Seriously the Best Project Kit. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I seriously, I like this time of the morning. I kind of feel like bright and perky and like, let's go. So what we're gonna do is we are going to make up a set of these cards so you can see what the class is going to be. There's Lisa, hi Lisa, um, hi Pam. You can see what the class is gonna be uh, in January. And so this is one of those ones you're gonna wanna add to your calendar because it's gonna get you all set up for the new year in terms of having some great cards on hand. It's 1.45 a.m. Dude, what are you doing up? Meg, go to sleep. Um, so this one, again, this is one of those ones. Uh, the card kit is, just a second, I'll explain it to you. You get this killer box, super cute. Okay, so you're gonna come, you're gonna get this box. All your bits are gonna be in it, preferably just the card bits. And there are 16 cards in here. So the cards that you see me make tonight, or this morning, it's not tonight anymore. That just feels weird for me. You're, yay, hi, Anne. Um, the cards that we're gonna make today, there's gonna be four of each that you would make. Does that make sense? Um, and so it's $50 for the class. That includes all 16 cards. It includes your super cute box. Um, waiting to pick up your son. Oh, Megan, I, that part's gonna kill me. Um, but I, I wanted you to see what it looks like. And so I want you to mark your calendars now. I did put it in the comments section. This one is on the 24th of January from seven to 9.30, okay? Cost is $50. And as always with all my classes during celebration, I always give people, Yes, you better, girl. I'm putting up the, watch, the link's already up, so get Paula to sign up, okay? You guys get on it. Um, I'm putting up the link for the class because I want you to be able, to, uh, well, you'll see the registration come up for the class today, but I always give people the option during celebration of adding on to the class because that way they can earn a free celebration item. So for example, this item's $41 plus the taxes and the shipping, and so I always give them the option of adding on the other $19 in product if they wanna earn a free celebration item, okay? So should we do this? I have no idea what I'm doing. So you're gonna see it like someone is opening this and it's all brand new and they too have no idea what they're doing. So my first set, I don't tend to change up a lot. I keep the sentiments exactly as they show them. So if you have not had our new cling stamps, that's all you do, peel that off, peel this off, okay? And then I just come in here. Now I'm gonna try not to give you my hair this morning because it's still a little out of control, haven't done anything with it yet. Push him down, peel him up, okay? That's it. So that's how you're gonna mount your cling mount stamps. Not complicated. We're gonna start with this particular one. Okay, who's big enough? Come here, let's go with you. Let's try and grab them blocks. So with this, it's a brand new stamp. So stamps can sometimes have a bit of a film on it from when they're created. So I actually keep just its old sanding block, you know, that one would use for their nails. And I just run it over my stamp and then the ink adheres to it really well. Now, benefit of coming to the class, you don't have to buy the stamp set. There's Roseanne. You don't have to buy the stamp set and I supply everything. So I'm gonna supply, the Pretty and Peacock ink will be here. You don't need to bring it. The Terracotta Tile ink will be here. You don't need to bring it. And you know what, for your 50, I even supply your um, adhesive. You don't need to bring along adhesive. It's like a, a night out, okay? So, should we do this? We're gonna do this one first, hello friend. So we're gonna find the bits. So for this card, I know that I'm gonna need this background. I have gone through and I pre-popped out, I pre-popped out the bits for it. We don't need all these. I think I started pre-popping bits for this too. Okay, just a sec. I've got a few of these here and I don't need them. So we're just gonna put, yeah, these ones all the way. 
Don't do that to yourself because then you start to get confused with all your pieces. Okay, so we have got this guy here is our sentiment. You see that one there? We're gonna stamp him. I need to have one bird and it's this guy right here. I can see already that I'm gonna need to take out another bird. I missed him. We're gonna need a few of these. So it looks like I've got this, I've got this. I'll pop out the others just because I have no idea. You, w I wish you could come too. Just get on the plane, Anne, because you know, it's not far at all. <laughs> I know it's far, honey. Okay, so we're gonna pull these guys. So there's four sheets of these. So basically I would go, okay, one card between the two things. I'm gonna use them all. So I just popped out my bits for that. Okay, let's put this back in the case. Now, I not, might not make all four of these for you this morning, but I'll make you a couple so you can kind of get an idea. So with this, I never stamp white on white. So I always put white down on something different colored because I find it so much easier to line up. Okay, do you see how well my ink adheres to that when I've given it a little sanding? I know, it's dreamy. So we're going to come in and we're going to take this and we're going to stamp it. Now, I'm going to pull it. I think I'm going to pull it a little bit left because the bird goes on here too, okay? So I went a little left and I went a little up because there's also a strip that goes underneath it. So I'm letting it just kind of, you know, soak in. Okay, let's pop it. Look at that. Now, another benefit. If you come to a class and you're like, Ange, look at I missed a spot. I also have on hand the markers, right? So you don't have to do that. Oh no, like I didn't stamp that perfect. You can come in and you can steal my, well, don't steal my markers, but you can use my markers to do this. Now, you can avoid that completely by using a stamp, a stamp of source. Don't call it a stamp of source, but using your Stamparatus, okay? Now, this one has got, uh, not the longest, does it look like the second longest? This is how we're gonna tell. I look at the pictures and I'm like, okay, you kinda, yeah, it's that guy. I have to follow the pictures, people. <clears throat> now, it does have some super cute sentiments on it. So it's got, hello, friend. Um, I can use you did it. You're seriously the best, or I miss you a lot. I'm actually going to go with you did it, because I want my cards to be things that I will use. Um, and with my West Coast Creators team, like with the people who signed up as demos underneath me, we send out a lot of acknowledgement stuff, right? So I want to be able to have stuff on hand which is the purpose of any of us making cards. I want stuff so when something goes down in life, I have got the card on hand for it. Okay, so put that down. Okay, we want one of these. You should see the dog upstairs, he's totally pouting. It's still dark out, but he wants to go for a walk. And so I said to Sean, I'm going down to do a Facebook Live. And when I open the door to the basement and then I close the door behind me, he knows I'm not coming up for a bit. Harley was not pleased. Hello, Jeanette. Hi, Kristen. Okay, so. Tap, 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 ink that bad boy up. We're gonna come in here again. I'm gonna take this, but you can see how stamping it, am I too low for you to see? No, stamping it on black gives me kind of a reference. It's a little bit easier to see. You did it, I did it, woo woo. Okay, next step, close that up. Don't leave your ink pads open. If you're anything like I am, that will become a disaster very quickly. Now, there is twine in here. I do my twine a little bit differently. Um, and at the class, you would choose how you wanted your twine. So I'm going to show you this. I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to give it a chance to focus. They did the like, you know, loopy loopy, the massive loopies. They're not my thing. And I love the cards, but I'm just not into doing my loopies like that. So I always change them up, but you can do them exactly as you see them, or you can change things to fit you, right? Like that's kind of the, okay, I'm not going to, oh, just a second, I'm going to pull the dimensionals. So as I said, this would all be, you wouldn't have to worry about the dimensionals. You wouldn't have to all supply all that at the class, okay? So this, what we're going to do next is we're going to take this. I'm going to pop him up, but before I pop him up, I'm actually going to throw some snail on the back. I'm, I, I love things sticking up. There's Eileen. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to take this. And so I stuck some snail on the back, and we're going to take this, and we're going to pop it up in here. We're going to kind of come up like this, yes. These are vellum, so they're super gorgeous. You can kind of see through them. I'm trying to make sure that I glued the right side up because they do, vellum does definitely have a right side, people. So look, right side, wrong side. You can see how it's faded, yes? Okay, then we'll come in down here and we'll put another piece kind of in here. Then it looks like we've got some more over here. And you know, why not just keep adding? There, oh, you're not there, oh, there. You have to make sure there's snail to attach it to or else it doesn't work, okay? There, okay, so we got that one on. Oh, or not, 
I lied. There we go. Okay, next step we're gonna do is I'm not going to put the twine as they show it. You can absolutely do it, I'm just not. So don't freak out and go, and you're forgetting the twine. I promise I'm not. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump in and I'm gonna slap some dimensionals on. Okay, and I'm gonna come in here. You guys are really quiet in the morning. I need it to be like nighttime because then you guys will get a little bit rowdy. Hi, Jill. This is what you do when it's the weekend and you have literally, Jill, I have nothing on my calendar for the entire weekend. All I intend to do this weekend is make cards. Okay, so I guess I should Christmas shop too. Overrated. I'll do it online <laughs> in between cards. Okay, so we're going to put that one on just like that. Now this little bird, I'm sorry, but he's so stinking cute. Okay, so I'm with him. I'm going to put, I want two dimensionals on this because I want him to be above my hello friend. Now you can absolutely slap him down. So he could come on just like this with one dimensional. You're just waking up. I know, it's so cute, Jill. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and then come over here. So as I said, I'm going two. Yes, that's it, girl. Get rowdy for me. Jill knows. I, I, I. I think what I've realized is I, I wish you could be making cards with me. I know we should do a pajama morning at my house over the holidays, Jeanette. You and I'll just sit in our pages and make cards. Sean will be like, seriously, you guys? Yes, yes, we are doing it. Okay, so this, peel the backings off. It's ha I'm happy to catch you. How's work going, Randy? You're going running and then decorate. I could do that too. No, no, I could not. Jill knows. I, the, I've told her. The only reason you're ever going to catch me running is because there's a natural disaster and I have to leave. That is the only reason I will run. Otherwise, it is not happening. I have a family of runners. I did not get the running gene. Okay, so we've come in here and we've done that. Now, I want to stick on You Did It. And I'm actually, I'm going to jump to my adhesive strips. So again, benefit of attending the class, you don't have to worry about whether or not you've got these. Christmas music and PJs. Ugh. Jeanette, I was thinking about you all day yesterday, love. Oh, there's one. I'll use that one. There. I always have to feel for the sticky side. Okay, come in here. thing I like about my um, adhesive strips is they're actually a little bit higher than a dimensional, so it does still give me that little bit of elevation change. Can you see that? How sweet is that so far? Okay, next thing we are going to do. These I love because when you're old, you have four shifts and then three weeks off. Woo-woo! Randy, Sean, like my husband, you know, he's a firefighter and he just got off two days ago and he's on his holidays now and he is giddy. It's pretty comical. Okay, but I don't think he realizes that him being off means he's going to get my list of, can you pick up this for so-and-so for Christmas? Can you pick up this for so-and-so for Christmas? Poor Sean. Okay, we're going to come in and we're just slapping a few of these on. Now, I always do three. Good. Oh, Jeanette. Okay, so we've got my three little rhinestones on there. Now, I'll show you what I'm going to do with my twine. Okay, oh my gosh, I totally forgot to do this ahead of time. Please be the end, please be, oh, it's the end, okay. I'm the worst for being able to find the end of spools of twine. And so sometimes I go rogue and I just willy-nilly cut a spot in the middle of it. Yes, I know, I do. Um, and I cut a spot in the middle of it and just start there. But then the whole thing starts going to hell in a handbasket after. You go to Park Royal, you're right by me, Kath. Yay! Maybe I'll see you shopping. Yeah. Uh, no, because I will be hiding in the basement making cards. I'm not going to park royal. See, okay, Sean's theory is when you're married to a firefighter, why would one ever go to a mall on a weekend at Christmas? Sean says, why would you not go on a Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock? I send him in with his list. <laughs> Get this. I send him in with a list and he goes and picks it up. Or sometimes you, well, online shopping, not going to lie. It's kind of heavenly. Okay. Have it show up at my door. There we go. Okay, we're gonna tie a knot. And then I'm putting a bow on here. So they do the loopy loopies. I'm just not good at loopy loopies. I find that they tend to look a little loopy loopy for me. Yes, come in here. Oh, you guys, seriously, sweetest card. Hello friend, you did it. Okay, loving that one. Should we go to the next one? We'll see if we can make a couple. Okay, so next one is, we need our stamps. I'll just mount them all today. I won't do them all. I'm not going to have time to do them all. Again, congrats. Love it. Oh, maybe I won't do that one next. I'm going to do another you did it. Okay, but normally I, they show one on here that says I miss you. I like that one. I think I'm going to do that one next because it's cute and it looks like it's one I can knock off fast. Okay, so we're going to pull out 
this bit here we need. Make sure that the card's opening the right way. You don't want to do it oddly. We want this bit here. It looks like I need the stitch circle. It looks like I have got, I'm gonna have to grab a bird. I didn't notice that it had, I was using a bird on another card. So I've got these, these two, these two pieces of vellum. Everyone got that? Parkwell's so pretty Christmas. Yes, it is, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just gonna look in the box because we need, I'm gonna pull out, pull out the box bits. So you can kind of see, well, this is good because you can actually see there's so much stuff in here. We need a bird that's going the opposite way. I need this bird, okay, oh, under control. So you have everything you need in here. Okay, time to pick up my son. Oh, Meg, please be careful. I'm so glad though that they call still at that time of the morning, 145. I don't wanna have to stay up to then. I almost shot my child last night. This is so bad. He comes into my room. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I wouldn't actually do that. That sounded twisted. Um, he comes into my room. I'm sound asleep, I kid you not, like out cold. I went to bed early, I was tired, it was Friday. It's like a couple weeks before Christmas and I'm a teacher, the kids are they're, they're a little bit energetic right now. So he comes into my room and I hear this, mom, mom, are you awake? Mom, are you awake? Okay, no dude, I'm not awake, I'm not answering you because I'm not awake. But you know, we keep going on that. Is it this one? Okay, we have to figure out which size it is, just a sec. Is it you? It's you, okay. Um, he wanted me to turn on the Wi-Fi. Why can't we order? Okay, so Lise, just a sec. Lise, you can't order this. Uh, well, you can't order this until January because the catalog hasn't gone live. So January 3rd, you can. Or you can just join my West Coast Creators team now and you can actually put all this stuff in your starter kit. Either way, it totally works. Um, and you can obviously do this as a class kit to go, like at home. Or you can do it uh, with me at my house, okay? Now, um, Lisa, I just actually packaged up your catalogs for you last night. So yours and Paula's were going in the mail tomorrow or all today. I'll take them to the post office. Okay. So we're going back to, oh, not that color. Good morning, junk. How are ya? Okay. Tap, tap, tap. Get a little bit of pretty peacock on here. Okay. So we're going to come back in and this one, I'm doing another, you did it because again, like I said, I'm making my cards so that I can use them in my life. So I'm, I don't tend to send a lot of I miss you lot cards, um, but I do tend to send a lot of acknowledgement cards. So this is kind of for me what I would like. Okay, so we're gonna get a little crazy on this one. We're gonna loop the loops. Yes, we're gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it a little bit different. Um, okay, so I think I can see it all. So what I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna show you how I do my loops. So I'm actually gonna take this. No, great question. So Megan says, hey, can you get celebration items with your starter kit? No, Meg, you cannot. So I think that's another reason people tend to wait until January to sign up. Um, Cause you get some extra freebies in your starter kit, right? Starting January 3rd. For example, ta -da. it's a soccer Saturday. Ugh. This little trimmer, woohoo, is free with your starter kit starting in January. Now you can get it in your starter kit now, but you have to purchase it. But in January, you can actually get it for free. So I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this trick I do. So what I do is I take my big fat hands. Hi, Joanne. And I go like this and I go loop, loop, and I keep my hand quite spread out, okay? So I take it like that. When I get it all like this, I kind of squish the middle. Oh no, so cute. Yeah, same as you guys. I know, I'm pretty sure that we're all the same. I don't, I hope they wouldn't, yeah. You don't want them to give one of us that ability because that's kind of, that's kind of cheeky if we could. Okay, so I just take it and I like schmoop it down so that you just get, yes, little bits. Even then, I still feel the need to floof the bits. So don't forget to floof your bits. <laughs> so wrong on so many levels. Okay, there we go. Ta -ta. Okay, so we've got that little bit. Now it just is, it's got it showing on here. So that's kind of, I thought, let's give it a go. Now we're gonna finish up this dimensional sheet if it kills me. I used to, I used to not use these, get this. I used to have all these sheets like this and not use them. And Jill, you'll see her on here. Okay, bye sweetie. Have a good day, Lise. Um, Jill, used to, Jill used to be like, why aren't you using those? So I used to be like, oh my God, I'll never use them. So I used to send Jill home with them all. Now I am addicted to using up those little last bits. Um, okay, so, oh, if people can't come to this class, so I've actually just had a couple of little messages saying, hey, what if you can't come to this class? How much would it cost? Um, well, you can absolutely, we can order you the kit online, right? 
So starting January 3rd, we can get you the kit and it would come straight to your house. So you, it would cost, it's $41 plus tax and shipping. And so your only issues with this would be, do you have the two colored inks? So at 41, what you could do is you well, you need the stamp set too though. Okay, so you'd have a couple things we'd have to add. So you'd, I, you know, I can help you price that out depending on what you would still need because you've got people that would need um, the ink pads, you've got people that would need the stamp set. You can always replace stamped images with ones you currently have. However, I'm not gonna lie, I think the ones that they did are super cute and super fitting. Okay, so we've got this one here. What I'm gonna do here, and I'm just gonna do it right up, actually no I'm not. I'm like, I'm just gonna do it right on my desk, but I'm not, because then I have to get the adhesive off after. So grab your silicone mat. You spot boots. I know, Mary, look at the time. I'm doing Facebook Lives at seven in the morning, because you know, why would you not? That's coming here, and we're gonna do one in here. Now, I just realized something that I did not do, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fix it. So this one here is actually supposed to tuck behind, okay? So what I would do, if you're a bonehead like me and you don't realize that, is you're gonna chop off that bit because you're gonna have a hard time feeding them through, and you're gonna come in here, and you're gonna lift up your bits. If only it were that easy, and you're gonna tuck them just like that and put them in see haha -ha, problem solved okay so we've got that in we're going to get rid of my silicone mat because it's hideous we're going to grab our birds now this one's already got his dimensional on him so we're going to take him and we're going to prop him not prop we're going to perch him he's going to perch he's perching okay and then the next one we're going to do is he's going to get his little friend who's also going to perch so we're just going to come in here am i down too low or can you see okay Okay, so this class will be limited. I'll only be able to have 12 at my house. So I will be posting the registration link, but what I would like you to do is if this is something you know you'd like to come to on the 24th, then just comment on this and I will make sure that I mark you down for a spot before I even open up the class, okay? So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use that. Is the second vellum upside down? No, it's not. It's actually, here, let me show you. It's a green one. So we've got this one's in pretty peacock, and then this one is in more of a mint macaron color, okay? So he's a little bit different in color. You can see there, kind of just both sides, it's pretty faded. Okay. No, it's two different colors. So Jeanette, you got a good eye, because that's exactly what it kind of looked like at first. Okay, let's come in here, and we're gonna put in, you did it. Okay, love it. And then with this one, they have actually used, check these ones, these ones are flower sequins. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna pop you, and then I'm gonna give you one of you, and I'm gonna come down here. I don't know why I go to a sing-songy voice when I do stuff, I'm sorry. There. Now, when you come, all these bits are in, all these bits are in your box. So you've got everything you need, okay? There you go, so look, now you can see, where'd the other one go? Cute little bird cards, yes? Okay, do we have time? What time is it? Uh, I've been on a while. Okay, let's, we'll do one more, we'll see, okay? I think I will go, I, I think, oh, this one. Look at the vellum on this. Do you see that vellum? It's so pretty, love that. Okay, I think I'll go blue. Now blue, I need this, I need this, I need this and I need this. Okay, remember I have to tie the string on before I adhere this piece. Okay, so we're gonna go to the congrats, which I do love. Did I take it out yet? I just didn't assemble it. Okay, let's do that really quickly. So remember, as I said, with this one, I would absolutely sand. Oh, I have the worst time getting these off. So what happens when you have no nails? But then I look at the people who craft with nails. I'm like, how do you do that? I literally could not pick up a pen. It takes skill to craft with nails. And I don't have it. Okay, come in here, just line this up, work your way across, peel them off. Don't sit them down on your desk because you might not get them up. It's <laughs> first sticky. They're super sticky to start now. Okay, so we're gonna go like that. Again, I'm just conditioning him. I'm get, or taking this stuff off, okay? Because it's gonna have a little film. Hi, Paula, how are you? Paula, your catalogs are going in the mail today too. I did your envelope last night. Okay, so we're gonna take this one. We're gonna put it straight to stamp it, okay? So I'm gonna go like this. We're gonna ink it up. Do Make sure you got good coverage. Okay, so look at, well, I can see there I didn't for a second, but we're gonna, ooh, this guy could be a little bit inky. He's pretty moist, people. 
Okay, so we're gonna come in here and I again, I'm stamping over top of black because I can see then. Okay, so we're gonna go like that, stamp our congrats. Hold it down. I wouldn't, okay, if I were using normal Whisper White cardstock, I would definitely not hold this down as long, okay? But stuff that comes in kits, I find is a little bit different in terms of paper, okay? And so it doesn't pick up the ink quite so easily, especially when you first ink up a stamp. So this is what I was saying, you wanna be at my house because if you sloop it, look at, especially with a brand new stamp, it wouldn't, uh, you'll find the more you use your stamp, the less you get an issue like this, okay? I probably should have opened them last night and just stamped on paper first. I'm just going in and I'm fixing any of my goobs where it's not perfect. Do you, did you finish the story about the son? No, well, yeah, but this was him. And I, like, I love you. Debbie's like, focus, Ange. Do you remember? Tell us the story. So he, this is him at, you know, I don't even know what time it was. I was sound asleep. And it's the only time that we allow the boys to have their um, devices in their room is on a weekend. They're not allowed on school nights because I don't think my children would get off. Like I seriously think they would be on till God knows what time. Okay, now I'm going to show you a little trick. So Mom, Mom, are you awake? And I'm like, and eventually I'm like, no, dude, I'm not. Like, I was sound asleep. Well, can you turn on the Wi-Fi? Uh, the correct answer here is no. No, I cannot. Go away. This is the same child. This this one's cute. So Debbie, you'll get a kick out of this one. So he's uh, how old is he? This one is. I'm like, which child? It's he's 14. Is he 14? He's 14. Okay, now this you want to put on first. Pay attention to this because this is what's going to hold what you're about to do next. <clears throat> Okay, so this one comes in one morning and he says to me, Mom, can I go on uh, my phone? I need to check. I sent my teacher an email about some assignment. I just want to check what she said um, before I go back to school. And I was like, absolutely. I said, but I'm not turning on the Wi-Fi until you've had breakfast and you're dressed and you're, you know, you're ready to go. Okay, Mom. So he eats breakfast, gets dressed, you know, does all his stuff, makes lunch. <clears throat> And then he comes into the room and he looks at me and he's like, honestly, he's the sweetest, most polite child in the world. But he looks at me and he goes, Wi-Fi? And I looked at him and I said, dude, I'm not a dog. As in like, don't give me a command. And sorry, teenage brains, they actually startle me sometimes. He, he looks back at me and he's like, why would I ask the dog to turn on the Wi-Fi? I'm like, oh, good Lord, child. Seriously, the fact that you can get yourself dressed in the morning is actually starting to become surprising to me. Yes, that's what he thought I was getting at, the fact that he was asking the dog for Wi-Fi. Anyway, we had to explain the uh, approach of our asking. Hi, Elise. Okay, so we're going to stick that on. Now, did you notice the reason I wanted to tie a string on and I wanted to tie it on going diagonal. So what's actually kind of holding it in place is this vellum that we stuck across because it's got those little cutouts on the side. So it kind of makes that a whole lot easier. Now, <clears throat> I can't tell from the picture. I don't know if this is popped up, but I'm popping it up. When in doubt, pop it up. I'm using up the bits. Jill, are you proud? We're bit popping. Do do. Look at that satisfying sheet done. Next sheet. There we go. Okay, so get rid of these. Good morning. No, it's not Jeanette. I seriously was gonna sell him. Why would I ask the dog to turn on the Wi-Fi? Oh, child, if only you knew. Okay, so we're gonna pop those. We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it onto, whoops, don't do that. Eesh. Put it down more carefully than I just did. There, okay, we've got this bit. <clears throat> now this one's got the you did it and it's still in pretty peacock. That's perfect, because that's what's on it, so I don't have to clean it. And come over here and you did it. Oh yes, I can totally hear the dogs. The dogs are like, mom, are you ready? Oh, I did, I smudged it, watch, this is the best part. Go like this, turn it over, nobody will know. Tap, tap, tap. Don't smudge it this time, Ange. Okay, we're only getting three cards in because my husband will leave without me today. But I will post a picture of the next card, okay? Okay, so this one here, we're gonna come in and we're going to take our little congrats. <laughs> Heidi, I promise I'm coming, I'm about three minutes out. No, can you hear him? He's like, I'll see you when I get back. No, 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 you won't. I'm coming with you. It's my Saturday walk. He walks the dogs at 5.30 in the morning on school days. So I don't go with him because I'm always, I'm in my studio. 
And so Saturdays and Sundays are days to walk together. Okay, so put your congrats down. Okay, so we got that on. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that cute little, you did it, and I'm gonna use up, I think I already have a bit ready, for my adhesive strips. Isn't the hand, I know the font I love on it, Elise. It's so cute. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna stick you on. Congrats, you did it. Okay, and then this one has, they flowered this one. Okay, I just kind of play with which one's got which. Are you flowered or are you sequenced? I think you're flowered. They could be mixed, but I can't tell because my eyes can't see. So like that, go like that. And I think I'll stick a big one up here. There we go. Okay, you love that. It's your favorite. Oh, you're so cute, Debbie. I love it. Okay, so, so far, as you've seen, we got this, this, this. Hang on, lose the bits. And we've got this. Sean, do I have four minutes? I don't know. He didn't answer. Does that mean yes? We're going to take that as a yes. Quick, let's do the last card. Shh, don't tell him. Okay, so on this one, we're going to hide the snail in the middle. We're going to speed stamp the last one. Okay, so we're going to take this. We're going to adhere it to the center. We're going to get our big, long strip we need for this. We need thanks. Okay, we even have to mount a stamp. <gasps> Look at we've got this on here. I love it. Aren't they cute? Okay, so take this. Peel off the back. Get this ready. Oh my gosh, get nails. Put that on your to-do list because it really helps with mounting your stamps. I'm gonna be going for a walk in my pajamas because I'm not gonna have time to change. All I can hear above me is the dogs. Mom! They're not actually saying that, but they're running around. Okay, grab another block because we're too lazy to clean the last stamp. Take your little sander. Boop, 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 boop. Sand them up. Okay, now this thanks they did in terracotta tile, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ink it up, ink it up, ink it up again, just making sure, keep it like nice and, you wanna keep it well inked. Now I got some ink around the edges. So something that's super important if you do that, do not rock your stamp. So just go in, and we're gonna put this up a bit higher because it's got a sentiment below it. Put it down, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, pull it off. There we go. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Um, next thing, grab this one, quick. Anyone else feeling my anxiety here? Like, don't leave without me. But I need to finish this last card. We got so close, we're not stopping after three. Okay, peel this. He's gonna send the dogs down to get me is what he's gonna do. Then you guys will laugh. Because all of a sudden you'll see a 90 pound dog jumping into the shot. He'd be like, mom, let's go. Okay, so you're seriously the best. Now this one, this one could get a little funny. I gotta put this on a block. Block am I putting this on? Okay, here, hang on. We have to clean this down. I was trying to avoid cleaning stamps because I'm lazy, but here, go like this. People should shop in PJs. Go ahead, take your walk comfy. Oh, okay, Paula, when I get brand new stamps, have you ever noticed that the first time you ink a stamp, it doesn't stamp very well? There's like a film that's on them. And so if you sand them, they say that the ink adheres to them better. Is it true? I don't know, but I just have done it forever because I was told that once when I was at um, the Stampin' Up! facility where they make the stamps. So I was like, okay, I can do that. Okay, you're seriously the best. My six pound dog would do that too, I know. And the old guy, the 14 and a half year old, he's just as bad. He's like, okay, can we move please, mom? Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, this one has, I will do it. Take this, get your snail. You have to know where it is first, though. It doesn't work if you've lost it. We're going to do one of my loopies. Okay, so take this. Foop, foop, foop. Make the noise. It will absolutely help. Chop it. Find center. Floop it. Now go through. You can do the big ringy loops. I just, I don't have a lot of success. It tends to look like, you know. Now I'm going to stick this. Yeah, I'm not even loving you right now. Come this way. Okay, we're gonna go that way. Okay, stick some snail on the back. Uh, duh. So you wanna watch me do this, even if you're a demo, because you are probably going, okay, what are the things that I should know and not do when I this kit? I'll watch Ange do it, and I'll watch her screw up first, and then I can avoid those same screw ups. Okay, so we're gonna make sure the card's opening the correct way. I do that sometimes. We'll take this, we're gonna go. 
Now make sure you're centered. Loverly, come in here, grab those adhesive strips. Where are they? They are right here. I've got bits everywhere. I keep all these bits. Pull your bits off, stick them on the back. Okay, peel it. You are seriously the best. I can think of a few people I'd like to send that one to. Okay, and then on this one, we're gonna go, I think I'll put um, big, little, and then we'll go big. Go big or go home, up there. Okay, so people, again, as I said, this is the class. It is coming up on January the 24th. It is, it's a $50 class. You will make 16 cards. You will get the cute little box that I showed you. This all comes in, yes, gorgeous, okay? But you'll have 16 cards. I will supply everything. So I'll supply your ink, I'll supply your adhesives. You just come. Um, remember, you can always book a private night like this. Oh, you're so sweet, thank you, Anne. Um, you can have a private night with your friends. And we can do this for you and a group of friends if the 24th doesn't work for you. So you just let me know, and I want to book our own night and do it as a girl's night. Okay, thank you so much for joining me first thing in the morning. That was so much fun, and I will see you all later. Bye.